It's time for your happy hour and a half. Live from the 5 Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live. That's right. Welcome to the Twin Cities Live on this opening day at Target Field. How are you? I'm doing great. Boy, baseball in the air. How fun. We are celebrating all afternoon. Our reporter, Kristen Harbrook, boy, she's got a great plan for today. She's live on the plaza at Target Field. We're going to check in with her in just a moment, and she's going to bring us all the good stuff, which is very fun. She's got a great gig today. Oh, she's very happy. Yeah. Absolutely happy. I kind of wish I was there at opening. I've never done opening day. Oh, you should do it next year. I know. I should do it next year. It, I don't know for whatever reason. Again, it's kind of like Easter when I talked about it just kind of like crept up in on us. Yeah. I just sort of forgot that baseball was starting. Oh, that's what happens. Well, because, you know. Well, it's like, yeah, it's like spring break and like all this other stuff. And, and hockey's then, still going on. I mean, that season lasts oh forever. My gosh. That goes until June. <sighs> that's going to be a, that's a long season. So I don't know what it is, you guys. Like, I knew that they were playing. I was very in tune to their first series down in Kansas City. Yeah. I just wasn't paying attention to the actual opening day. But my boys are going. One of my good buddies has taken my boys. Oh, fun. I know. So well, next year, you can be out yeah, there. We'll yeah. have Kristen can hang out with us. Kelly Hansen, our other reporter, is in studio. And I love this because if you've been to a game at Target Field, you know that the food vendors are top notch. You know, yeah. you got the classics like the hot dogs. I do love a, a ballpark dog. Um, but. They also, at Target Field, partner with restaurants around the state. And Kelly's got a roundup of a few of those spots that you can visit year-round or you can go to the ballpark. But if you taste something you love at the ballpark, you might want to get more. I feel like this happens every year. So we talk about the state fair. And the state fair, you know, traditionally all fairs, state fairs, always just have, like, the traditional foods, right? Yeah. In the last, what, I don't know, five, six years, it seems like... The quality of food has gone up and up and up. Same thing with ballparks. Arenas, stadiums, yes. ballparks. The food choices there are not just corn dogs and hot dogs and nachos and popcorn. It's like real deal food cuisine. From my first year covering the fair here at Twin Cities Live, which was 15 years ago, compared to now, it's, it's a night and day difference. Right. It's like on a scale of 1 to 10, it was a 1 then, it's 10 now. Yeah. Great. Speaking of food, you're going to see some of the new foods that they are offering at Target Field this year as well. Um, and, Ben, you want to go back to Hawaii? That's right. We're going to continue our stories from the big island of Hawaii. For five nights, we stay at the gorgeous, and I mean, you guys, it was gorgeous. Those pictures, they do it some justice, but not all the justice. That is the Fairmont Orchid Resort, and it was stunning. Just the grounds, the people, the service, the sunsets, I mean, no, everything was so, so cool. You know, what we really love, too, about this resort is the dedication to sharing Hawaiian culture with everyone who visits. And it truly makes your experience so much more magical when you feel connected to the people and the traditions. Uh, so one of those things is hulaing. And if you want to see a whole bunch of, you know, middle to late aged Minnesotans hula dancing, boy, have we got the story for you. Yeah, we're do, we do a lot more than what you guys are just seeing that right there. Good. You know, that looks like just a really light exercise. But uh, yeah, there were no actual hula hoops involved. A different type of it hula. hula. But it was very calming. I liked it. it I know nice. it was very nice. Well, it is an exciting day for Minnesotans as Major League Baseball returns to downtown Minneapolis. The Twins' home opener is about to get underway. So, Twin Cities Live reporter Kristen Hobrick, she's living her best life. She's live from the Plaza at Target Field. You're looking good there, girl. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Oh, my goodness. What a picture-perfect day for baseball, and I'm ready. I've got my Homer hanky coupled with my sweatshirt from the 1987 World Series. Now, I was only two at the time, but picked this up in a vintage store. And so we are just minutes away from that ceremonial first pitch that's set to go out at 310 as the Minnesota Twins take on their division rivals, the Cleveland Guardians. Now, if you think back to last season and the playoffs, there's this renewed sense of optimism coupled with a strong roster. I think it's bound to be a great season. And earlier today when the gates opened behind me at one o'clock, I caught up with Twins fans and asked them what they're most looking forward to. Take a listen. How excited are you that baseball is back in Minneapolis? Yay! Super excited. Yes. So excited. excited. So yes, excited. yes. It's about time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you are twin sisters. Yes, yeah, yeah. we are. Twins going to the Twins game. Yes. How yeah. cool is that? It's super awesome. It's really fun that we get to do things together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you've been to a Twins game? Um, oh, when you were like summer? eight, I think. Oh, she was last summer, yeah. but we were like eight together. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were overdue. Yeah, very, yeah. Favorite thing about the game? I just think just the atmosphere is just so fun and like just being here and like with the sun. 
sun shining. It's just like Minnesota. Like, it's just so fun. Tell me about this jacket. You've got both of the World Series patches. Did you yes, make this? I do. I did make this. So patches that they have for everything. So this side is, is the inaugural season, the clothes of the dome. This is all the all-star games. And this is the greatest coat of all time. So here we are, Target Field for the Twins home opener. Describe what you're feeling. How does it feel to be back at Target Field? Excited and it's beautiful weather. Okay. No snow. And uh, did you guys get out of school for this? No. Fix yes. <laughs> <Six> answers. <laughs> no. Yeah, spring break, no. Spring break. Oh, okay. Spring break. You got me. All right. <laughs> what food are you going to get in on when you get inside? Hot dogs. Hot dog for you? Pretzel. Okay, pretzel. Maybe mini donut. That's yeah. my thing. So how are we feeling after the performance the Twins did last season in the playoffs? That was really fun. I danced on the top of the dugout. And, oh, yeah. Uh, it was we were going crazy last year, so we're super pumped up for this season. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Go Twins. Go, Go Twins. Twins. All right. Woo! All right, and also happening at the game today, the Twins are honoring legendary Twins broadcaster Dick Bramer as he celebrates 40 years of legendary broadcast uh, calls here with the Twins. And so Bramer stepped away from the booth after last season to become a special assistant with the club. And that ceremonial first pitch, well, Bramer's going to be the one to throw it out any minute now, guys. So I already crushed a cheddar bratwurst today and a pretzel. <laughs> And I'm feeling pretty good. good I'll keep for checking you. in with you. I'll let you know if there's any score. I love it. Keep us posted, Kristen. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Kristen. Keep going. You got a lot of food to eat. She found some fun people <laughs> out do. there, and that's great. <laughs> Everybody's there for a good time. I like how people look kind of, some people just go like a little nuts with their outfits, and yeah. then others are going full 90s, like these 90s sweatshirts with the turtleneck. I yeah. am here for this. I love the guy's self proclaimed best jacket ever. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not I mean, wrong. he put a lot of work into that. That was, that great. was, that was really Any cool. Any man who's like, I'm going to iron on the patches, I'm like, you're, you're my kind of so guy. so proud of it. That's so cool. proud of it. Uh, a lot to be proud of here. So guess what, you guys? The Minnesota Golden Gophers women's basketball team, big congrats to them. They're going to play in the WNIT championship game Saturday after winning last night in Troy, Alabama. They won 74 to 69. And they're going to face off in that championship game against the St. Louis. Now, did you know this? Their mascot is called the Billikens. The Billikens. Oh, That's what's a right. Billikens? There it is right there. Well, the Billikens, they say, is uh, it's like a good luck, like a mythical good luck creature. Mm. Okay? So uh, it rep represents things as they ought to be. St. Louis University. There it is. SLU. Mm-hmm. I guess they said it was a national sensation before it was the actual mascot. That's a strong term. I, I mean, I like what he stands for, this Mr. Billiken, but a national sensation would be you know, that's overrepresenting what has happened with him. Basically, you guys, it's a leprechaun. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know why they're, they're staking claim to the leprechaun. He's cute. I like they him. They basically just went from like, you know, greenish Irish feel to a white devil looking it troll like thing. It's like the ghost in Ghostbusters, kind of. It's just very fun. Well, there you go. Way to go. Golden Gophers women's basketball team. There's been some good basketball happening lately. Yeah. And, and really cool, too. The fact they made it all the way to the championship game, and hopefully they do win the WNIT. But they were ranked 11th out of 14 in the Big Ten this year. Oh I know gosh. it's a lot of numbers because you know the Big Ten is actually 14 teams. Yeah, that's very confusing. Yeah, that's it's very confusing. Close. But they're ranked 11th, and then they make it all the way to the championship game. So uh, you guys can see them on Saturday night.